Hello everyone, welcome to a tutorial on how to flash your Viking sleeper controller with the 3.5 millimeter programming jack. You will need your controller, the programming cable, and this is just a standard 3.5 millimeter to USB. It's actually the same as an iPod charging cable, so if you lose yours, you can uh, pick one up locally, probably at a Best Buy. Let's go ahead and search to uh, surf over to the website, hit up the downloads page, select the game that you want uh, to play with your controller, and because we are programming a sleeper, let's go ahead and pick uh, one of the sleeper presets. I'm going to pick uh, World at War here, Call of Duty. And uh, to open this file, you will need to install WinRAR. That's just a utility that makes it easier to send lots of files over the internet. And uh, that's available uh, for download from our support page. And I'm just going to save this RAR file to my desktop. There it is. And uh, let me zoom in here for you. To open this uh, file, I just double click. And if I already have WinRAR installed, this is what it's going to look like. WinRAR just tells me there's two more files in here. And uh, one is the HID bootloader.exe. Let's drag that to our desktop. That's the flashing software. One here says uh, four mode plus sniper.hex. That hex file, that's the code that will actually be flashed into the controller. And that's pretty much all you need WinRAR for. So now we've got those files on our desktop. Let's go ahead and launch the HID bootloader. And this is what uh, HID bootloader software looks like. And right now it says device not detected. So let's go ahead and grab our controller. And to put our controller into flashing mode, just hold down the sync button while powering up the controller. Grab the programming cable and I went ahead and already plugged the other end into the PC. Put it into the, to the controller and you'll hear Windows detect it and of course now our flashing software says device attached so we're ready to program click on open hex file and we're going to want to surf to our desktop because that's where we put that uh, Call of Duty 5 World at War hex file double click and you'll see that this program verify button can be pressed now so just go ahead and hit that and the programming software is going to do its thing pretty quick. It's already done. And just want to make sure that the last message you see here says completed successfully. And if you do see that message, go ahead and click on reset device. That's going to take the controller back out of programming mode. And we're all done. Go ahead and uh, unplug the programming cable. And if we hit the sync button, We'll see that our Call of Duty 5 code is in there and it's uh, scrolling through rapid fire modes. If you have any problems with this, uh, email, just email us at support or uh, hit, up our, hit up our forums and ask one of our moderators or one of the other users uh, to help you out. And thanks for watching.